Hello again. Now, problem about being 70 is that you've got quite a collection of history behind you. So I'll try and be brief. Um, starting out in the folk clubs of the 70s. Um, loads around the country, an extraordinary time. If you're interested, this is fantastic book. No, I didn't write it. Written by J.P. Bean. It's called Singing from the Floor. A History of British Folk Clubs. It's the most amazing book and it's written in the words of the artists that were working right through the late 50s, 60s, 70s and on. Highly recommend it to you. But that's where I started in the early 70s. Uh, floor spots, then you became regular, and then I became a resident, then I started doing my gigs and then I was doing bigger gigs and then I was supporting people, slightly larger halls, all acoustic, solo guitar, a couple of microphones on the mic and on the guitar, um, and then slightly bigger auditoriums with more and more well-known artists, and then finally I got a record deal. Recording in the 70s was 16-track analogue and everyone in the studio laying the tracks down together. For a solo artist, acoustic performer, it was a huge step. Making that first album was a, a wonderful experience. Making the second album was sheer hell. But there you go. I'm glad I came out of it. And in a way, I was glad to step back from that level of exposure and be part of a band and create another persona. Um, and that was Irma Sitas, and I joined the Hank Wangford Band. Five years with the Wangfords, I came out with a load of skills. Fantastic to hear all those country artists, beautiful music, wonderful, learning how to do harmonies, learning how to look after my voice, learning how to be in a band, such an important skill. I had to laugh and spinal tap because there were moments in our dressing room where you could great memories. So after such an immersion and other people's songs, um, it was time to go back to my own songwriting and back to where I started. Uh, I teamed up with a brilliant double bass player called Ollie Blanchflower and he and I toured around Europe, Ireland, England, up and down the country for seven years. It was a fantastic time. We made a load of music and you'll find some of that in the shop. So after seven years, um, it was in the early 90s, I'd been doing some teaching, supplementing uh, the work that we were doing live, very interested about the development of the voice. A um, lot more about that on that voice uh, teaching page. Um, but there was one last thing, and that was the glorious Daphne's Flight, which we got together in 95, 96, made a fantastic album, which you'll see on the link to the Daphne's Flight webpage. Um, and we toured a um, beautiful, beautiful time. And how come I can be so lucky in my 70s to be standing on stage alongside the best female singers and songwriters in this country? How lucky am I? Um, and that brings us up to the end of this particular section. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you again. Bye bye.